Hello everybody, welcome back to D Diets. If you're new to the channel, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel, ring the little bell, because I never know when I'm really gonna drop another video. Anyway, as you can tell, can you hear it? It is raining cats and dogs. Oh, it is. And I love it. I love it when it's like this. I really do. I mean, I'd like to be curled up in a bed right now or on a sofa with a good book, but I do enjoy a good thunderstorm. I truly do. Anyway, I'm not in a rush. You want to go? Oh, okay. No, me, you, go. <laughs> anyway, oh, that place is up sale again. Anyways, um, oh God, what was I going to think? I'm going to the post office to look to see if Buddy got any mail today. What a day I took to go out. But I love it. If I had a good cup of coffee sitting right by my side. Oh, the park is open again. Oh. Well, you never know. Maybe I'll go and get a cup of coffee and sit there. I don't know. Yes, in the rain. I just love, I love rain. I really do. I love the rain. Well, it nurtures everything. So, what did I have for breakfast today? You want to know what I had for breakfast? Can you hear me over this? Oh, my. It's a tremendous storm right now. I had a potato. I had a one pound potato for breakfast. That's what I ate. It was delicious. Do you hear this, guys? Oh my goodness. It's like a typhoon coming through here. Oh, I love it. Anyway, um, I know most people will be frightened of the rain. It's like, I love the rain. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway. I had a potato for breakfast. This plant-based thing is working out just fine for me. I absolutely love it. Later when I go home, I have that zucchini and squash and stuff. I'll add some beans to it, some rice, make it a hearty dish, and I'll have that for lunch or later on as a snack. I don't know. All I know is I'm not hungry right now. Because the potato makes you full. Potatoes don't make you fat. It's what goes on the potatoes that make you fat. The sour cream, the butter, all that other stuff that we love so much. Oh goodness, isn't this something? Do you hear it? And because I have a convertible top, do you hear it even more? Oh my goodness, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, but you know what? Don't stop the people from being home. It does not stop the people from being home. So I figured while I was out and I figured I'd talk to you guys, I want to tell you that I will never do keto again, ever, ever, ever. Now, the reason why, I don't think I can even talk over this rain. Let me show you. I'm going to turn the camera around. This. Is this not too much? Oh, my Lord. I don't even think you can hear me over the rain. We're going through a storm, ladies and gentlemen. We're going through a storm. I don't know what's coming through. Woo! I love it! Baby! I don't know. This is my weirdness. See, this is the weird stuff that I like. Weird, strange, and unusual. Wow. If you think I'm getting out of this car right away to go check Buddy's mailbox, you'd be crazy. I'll have to wait till it stops. I'll just sit in the parking lot. I hope it stops, though. Look at this! Oh my goodness! Isn't this great? I know, I know. I'm like a goofball right now, but I'm enjoying every moment of it. Oh, that poor person is stuck on the side of the road. Oh, that's not good. That's not, are they moving? Are they moving? Because otherwise I'll turn around. They're moving. They're moving. You know, I, I feel bad when I see old people in a car and they're stuck. That makes me nervous for them. Oh, God. Well, it makes me nervous if anybody's stuck in a car. You know, I'm one of those people that would stop. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my, my, my. Isn't this unbelievable right now? Kids, this is unreal. It is coming down like you cannot believe. Wow. I'm not getting out of this car, I'm telling you right now. I'm 
was at the post office. I'm so not getting out of this car until it slows down. Look, there's nobody here. Of course there wouldn't be. Oh my, 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 my. Wow. Oh, look at this parking lot. Oof. Oh my goodness. We'll just have to wait for it to stop. That's like a little adventure, isn't it? Okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll stop everything. You can listen to the pitter patter of the rain. And why won't I do keto ever again? I'm going to tell you why. I don't know how long I'm into this video, guys, but if you're doing keto or you're planning to do keto, learn from me. I did keto. And I did keto probably around 10 years ago before keto was a thing, but low carb was and it was Atkins. I did that and I lost 100 pounds in six months. Yes, I did. I lost 100 pounds in six months. It was unbelievable. It came off so fast. How did I do that? Well, I ate meat, I ate cheese, I ate fat. That's what I had. When you do a low carb diet, it's very, 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 very little bit of carbohydrates, potatoes, vegetables, that kind of thing. Very, very little. And it's never potatoes, I want you to know. It's like greens, but every green has carbohydrates in it, so you have to be very careful, string beans, all that stuff. You can't have carrots, you can't have corn, you can't have peas. They're high starch vegetables, right? So I did it and I stayed on it for like six months. And I got into ketosis. It took me about three days to get into full-blown ketosis. Do you know what ketosis is? Okay, ketosis is basically your body's way of eating. What the heck is going on? Oh my God, I'm leaking, guys. My car is leaking. Oh my heavens. Do you see this? My car is leaking. Water's coming through. Oh my God. How in the world is this happening? Rain, you better stop right now. Oh no. Dorothy. Dorothy. What's happening here? Where is this coming from? I don't know. Any place else leaking in here? Oh my goodness. You know what? I can't win. This is my Dorothy, you know. I'm looking. You know, it could be just that it's a heavy, heavy, heavy rain. I don't know. I mean, I've never had it happen before. We're going to get so off the track with this keto thing. Anyway, is any place else leaking around here? Because now I'm going to get nervous. Anybody? No, no, nothing. Uh, God needs to have this rain stop now that I'm out. Anyway, so it'll stop, I'm sure. It's just it's so much rain. Anyway, ketosis. What is it to be in ketosis? To be in ketosis means that your body is eating its own fat. And... When you're in ketosis, you really never feel hungry. So it took me about, I would say, two to three days before I got into ketosis, you know, eating meats and cheeses and fat and very, 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 very little carbohydrates. And I got in ketosis. How do you know when you're in ketosis? Well, you buy these ketone strips at the drugstore and you pee on them. And if they turn purple, you're in ketosis. So every day I would check to make sure I was in ketosis. And I was every single day. And that's how your body, that's how you lose weight, and that's how you're not hungry. But you cannot have vegetables. You, you can have very little vegetables, very little. And you cannot have all fruits. You can have the berry family, but not a lot of it. And you can't have, you know, pineapples and oranges and apples. and You really can't. If you're looking to lose weight, you want to do it that way, right? Well, I did that. I lost 100 pounds in six months. Ended up in the emergency room. My kidneys could not handle the amount of protein and fat I was putting into my body. Um, I ended up in a dialysis center. I know. Can you imagine? Because I did not get off of it. Are we still leaking or is it stopping? I don't know. Uh, I would not get off the diet because I felt like, man, look at me. I look great. I'm not getting off this diet. 
and the doctor in the emergency room said to me, I'll see you back in six months. Six months to the week I was back in the emergency room with more kidney stones. Only this time he told me, um, I want to see you in my office. His office happened to be in a dialysis center. He took me on a little tour and he says, and this is where you're going to be. And I went, what? He says, you're doing major damage to your kidneys. You don't realize it, you know, I know you say you feel good, but you're really not, and your kidneys are having major damage. So, do I like the idea of a keto diet intermittently? Yes, absolutely. Like if you're gonna do it for five or six days and you just wanna, you know, do it for a little bit. If you're gonna do it and make it a life, uh, a life sustaining plan, you better check with your doctor and you better have your kidneys checked out. Um, woo! You hear that? Oh my goodness. So that is the one thing that uh, I would definitely, guys, check out before you decide to do a keto diet. Because I know it sounds so wonderful that you could have all the meat and the cheese and stuff that you want. And there's really no limits. I mean, I had no limits on myself. I ate as much cheese and salami and ham and the weight fell off me without doing any exercise whatsoever. I didn't have to exercise at all. So... Be very, very careful. That is all I can say is be very, very careful and cautious when you're doing keto, low carb. Um, low carb is great if you're adding like good vegetables, you know, but most people don't. Most people have a little bit of, car you know, I've seen it. I've seen it. You know, we'll have a slab of this or a big steak like that or lots of seafood or butter and, and then you see like a cucumber. That's, that's so unhealthy I can't even begin to tell you. But because I lived it, and I have to tell you this also, when I finally did get off of it and I ended up crying all the way home because I thought, there's no way that I want to get off of this thing, but my kidneys are really feeling it. I didn't even look at the maintenance program or what I could do because I knew to keep myself in ketosis, I had to eat under, under 20 grams of carbohydrates a day. Do you hear me? under 20 grams of copper. Some people might be able to have 30. Some people might have to be able to have 40. But for me, for me, excuse me, for me it had to be under 20 grams of carbohydrates a day to keep me in ketosis. So that limited vegetables uh, very quickly, very, very quickly. And then of course, going to the bathroom was always a chore. And if you do keto, you know what I mean. I mean, you could drink a lot of psyllium powder or you could have some fruits and vegetables and actually have and and go to the bathroom regularly and not have to have psyllium to do that and those who do keto uh, understand what i'm talking about and because i'm a fat chick and i've done it all this plant-based thing guys i have to tell you is the easiest gosh darn thing i have ever done i don't have to weigh anything i don't have to measure anything i don't have to go to any groups i don't have to um what else oh it's the cheapest gosh darn diet you ever want to go on is vegetables and fruits i mean let's be real it's cheap because a bag of potatoes is cheap. You know, carrots are cheap. Nothing's that expensive. Bag of apples, you know, bananas, can, you know, canned beans, like stuff like that. It's cheap. So this is a cheap diet to go on if you're looking to change up your lifestyle. Now, has it been hard for me to give up meat? No. That I will tell you. It, I was never a meat eater to begin with, so it wasn't difficult for me. Um, I liked my chicken. Everybody knows how much I like my chicken, but I don't miss it. And if you want to find out more, you can always look online and go to Dr. McDougal on Facebook, uh, not on Facebook. Well, I'm sure he has a Facebook page, but on YouTube. And you can hear about what he has to say. Because I like listening to doctors. And there's a whole webinar and you're going to get to know all these different doctors. And they're all doctors and they all were internists. And some of them were anesthesiologists. And they seen the inner workings of somebody's body and their heart. And they saw it all. So I like listening to what the doctors have to say because they say there's cures for everything. If you just eat the fruits and seeds and nuts of the earth, they know it. Even though I don't eat any nuts, I don't eat any seeds, anything. Right now, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just eating plant-based. And what does it mean to be plant-based? It means anything that's coming from the earth. So, you know, go into your produce department and you'll see everything is there is from the, from the earth. It's from the, it's from the soil. So you can get whatever you want, your fruits and your vegetables, eat them and eat them in as much quantity as you want. You're not going to put on any weight. My biggest fear was I'm going to be eating carbohydrates, potatoes, sweet potatoes, peas, corn, all this good stuff. And it is good stuff. 
and I'm not going to gain weight, then the answer is no. You don't gain weight. You do not gain weight eating those starchy foods. Now, if you want to know uh, the book that you can get, it's called The Starch Solution by Dr. McDougall. It is on, I have it at home. It is on Amazon, so you can purchase it over there. But it's the best thing I ever did. I don't have dairy because I'm a vegan now. Who would have thought? But I don't have any cheese. I don't have any milk. You can have soy milk, you know, but uh, no caffeine. Just decaffeinated. I got rid of the crystal light because I didn't want to have the, the, the artificial sugar. And you know how much I love my crystal light. I don't have to tell you. But I did all of that so I could see if there could be a difference. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a difference. Now, of course, I'm still, you know, big. But I'm hoping in the next few months that I do see a difference and that I do feel better. I have to be honest with you. I do feel better. It's like, I don't know how many days I'm into this already. I think I'm into this because I know you're not seeing this right away. I think I'm into it now. Ten, maybe 10 days, maybe 10 days. And I feel really good. You know, I really feel good. Yeah, I let go of the butter on the vegetables and the butter on the corn and all that other stuff. I mean, would I love to have a baked potato with, you know, cheese and bacon and all that good stuff? Yeah. But I know I can't. You know, I just know that it's going to be really bad for my heart. I don't want clogged arteries. And that can happen. And then, you know, being obese is not a joke. You know, I don't consider myself just a fat girl. I'm obese. So, you know... I'm not ashamed of who I am, but I know that I want to be healthy. And I know the next time I go into a doctor's office, I don't want him looking at me and going, oh, here's another fat chick. What's her problem? You know what I mean? Like, I always feel that way when I go into a doctor's office. I always feel that way. And I haven't gone in a really long time because I just say to myself, what's the point? Now, could I be pre-diabetic? Probably. Could I have high cholesterol? Probably. Pretty sure I do. And I want to reverse that. I want to reverse that. I want to live my life the way I should be living my life. I don't want to live it within four walls of my house. I don't want to feel I can't do something. You know, just the simple things in life, sometimes when you get big, they're difficult to do. So I want to be able to enjoy my life, what, however my life is going to be. You know, I feel like I'm a young 61. I do. I don't feel like I'm an old 61, you know. I just feel like I'm a young 61. So I want to have a good life and I want to have some fun in front of me as well. And I can't believe, well, it's not that bad. I should go check to see if Buddy got mail and then I'll come back in the car. Oh, wow, I'm into this video a while. Do you mind? I hope you don't mind. I just wanted to talk to you about that, that keto thing. And if you are on keto, get yourself some keto sticks and go pee on those keto sticks. Because if it turns bright purple, you're in ketosis. And you should be losing weight like mad. Like mad. But if that stick doesn't turn bright purple, don't let anybody kid you. It's got to turn bright purple. Because I know there were days when I would have some vegetables and it wouldn't be bright purple. So if you're bright, bright purple, you're going to lose weight. But I'm going to tell you something, guys. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. Eating big slabs of meat and butter is not healthy for your heart. Don't let anybody tell you it's okay to have all those things because it really isn't. Talk to any cardiologist and they're going to tell you and talk to a kidney specialist and they're going to tell you having that much protein, your kidneys cannot handle it. It can't handle it. And because I love people the way I do and I mean, the most people we always see on keto is these very, very thin athletic type of people. Well, they're really athletic. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We've already done damage to our hearts. We've already done damage to our bodies. When you're obese, you've done a lot of damage to yourself already. And I don't want to keep making more damage by saying, yeah, let me suck down a, a, a pound steak. You know, if you're going to do it right and you're going to do keto right, you're going to have four or five ounce steak. That's it. You know, but most people don't do that. They'll eat a half a chicken. I know I did. And, you know, and keep going back for more during the night. If I was hungry, I'd be like, all right, I'll eat a chicken leg, whatever. You just kept eating. But I can honestly tell you it wasn't satisfying because I was missing so many other things 
like the fruits, like the vegetables, I was missing all of that. So is there a balance? Sure, there's a balance with everything. But what I'm doing right now, I have never felt better on. Never felt better on. And that is a lot. That's a lot for me to say that. But I feel so good. I really feel healthy. I really do. Anyway, my friends, I'm going to go into the post office, see if Buddy got mail. Thank you so much for taking a ride with me and a drive with me. I know this is a longer video. But remember that to be kind to one another in the heart, that's all that matters. You know, there are so many crazy people out there doing so many crazy things that you just have to show kindness. Because kindness it goes a long way if you do it. Sometimes it's hard to show kindness. It really is. But you just have to. It'll come back. It'll come back to you. I promise. So have a great day, my friends. It was great to see you all. I hope you didn't mind that I talked about my keto story. Yours might be different. Yours actually might be different. But that was my story. So I wish you the best of luck if you're doing keto. And please, please, please talk to your doctors before you do it. It's so important. It really is. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye.